Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Shada Shara. Today's session, we are going to learn the most important Saravalet interview questions. First question is How many objects of a Saravalet? How many objects of a Saravalet is created? See here, the only one object at a time of the first request by the Saravalet are a web container. So only one object. Why? Because uh, how many objects of a servlet cre is created? Servlet is created. Only one object is created by the servlet. The next question is, what is the life cycle of servlet? See here, there is a five phases are available life cycle of the servlet. The first phase is servlet is loaded. Whenever give, uh, whenever you are giving a request to the servlet, that time it's load the servlet. After that, servlet is initiated instantiated after loading the servlets it is going to be instantiated means when the request is arrived the servlet is going to instantiated the third one is servlet is initialized after instantiating it is going to the container calls the init method of the servlet whatever the values are given in the init method the values are going to be initialized after that service in the request after initializing it's going to uh, execute the service method of the servlet next finally destroy method finally finally the object is going to be destroyed by using the destroy method these are the different life cycle uh, these are the life cycles of the servlet life cycle of the servlet there is a different stages are available the first one is uh, loaded stage the second one is instantiated the third one is initialized the fourth one is service the six, uh, fifth one is destroyed the next question is who is responsible to create the object of the servlet who is responsible to create an object of the servlet the the web container is a the web container or a servlet container is the responsible to create an object of the servlet means the web application is running into the web server the web server contains the web server the web server contains the web container is available whenever we are raising a request automatically the first the request is reached first the request is reached to the web container the web container creates a request of the servlet the web container itself a web container or a servlet container creates the request of the servlet and uh, starts the life cycle of that servlet next question is when servlet object is created at the time of first request whenever we are giving a, a request to the uh, particular servlet that time the object is created after creation of the object the second time onwards the request the object is reused the next question is what is the difference between get and post methods the get method what is the difference between get and post methods the get method limited amount of data can be sent because data is sent in the header not in the post method large amount of data can be sent because data is sent in the body coming to the get it is not secured because data is exposed in the url bar and coming to the post it is secured because data is not exposed in the url get method the data is exposed in the url and the post method data is not exposed in the url and coming to the get method can be bookmarked coming to the post method the it's not a bookmarked and coming to the get method it is an idempotent method and the post method is a non important method the get method is more efficient and used in used than the post but a post is less efficient and used the next question is what is the difference between print writer and the servlet output stream a print writer is a character stream class whereas a servlet output stream is a byte stream class the difference is the print writer the print writer is a character stream class and servlet uh, print writer is a character stream class whereas a servlet output stream is a byte stream class the print writer class can be used to write only 
characters based informations whereas a servlet output stream class can be used write a primitive values as well as a character based informations and coming to the print writer the print writer is a character streamed class and the servlet output stream is a byte stream class a print writer class only writes the characters character stream uh, character based information but servlet uh, uh, servlet output stream is it writes the primitive values as well as a character based information the next question is what is the difference between generic servlet and http servlet a generic servlet is a protocol independent whereas an http servlet is a protocol specific http servlet provides a additional information such as a state management etc see here the generic servlet is a protocol independent and coming to the http servlet is a protocol dependent dependent it can be accepts only http protocol and it's a, it provides an additional functionality such as a state management the next question is what is the servlet collaboration when one servlet communicates to the another servlet it is known as the servlet collaboration if you, the servlet one servlet is communicating with the another servlet that is called servlet com collaboration there are the there are many ways to servlet collaboration the first one is requested dispatcher interface and the second one is send redirect method to communicate with the servlet to servlet there is a two uh, ways to communicate with the servlet to servlet the first one is request dispatcher interface in the request dispatcher interface there is a two methods are available that is called one is the forward method and the uh, second one is the include method we can use these two methods by in the now uh, to communicate with the servlet to servlet and the send redirect method it is available in the uh, servlet response object it is uh, available in the servlet response object so the communication between servlet to servlet is nothing but the servlet collaboration the next question is what is the purpose of request dispatcher interface the request dispatcher interface provides a functionality of dispatching the request to another resources it may be a html or a servlet or a jsp this interpreter can also be used to include a content of another resources the request dispatcher interface provides a functionality of dispatching the request uh, to another resources it may be a html or it may be a servlet or it may be a jsp this intercept interceptor can also be used to include the content of another resources the next question is can you call a jsp from the servlet yes one of the way is request dispatcher interface to call the servlet in the servlet we can call the request dispatcher interface we, we, we can use the uh, we, we can call a jsp from the servlet by using the request dispatcher interface uh, with the method get uh, with the method forward in the forward method we can use um, we can uh, while creating the request dispatcher interface it takes a parameterized constructor with the jsp name and whenever after creating the request dispatcher interface reference object we can call the forward method it can be automatically send, uh, uh, forward uh, it automatically moves to, uh, moves to the jsp page thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.